Hey everyone, welcome back to Robot Once It All. I'm Jason, and today we're reading the entries in the Enemy Dictionary for Robot Once Fishy. Robot. The self-modifying L9 loader unit, Robot has very limited capabilities, but a nearly infinite capacity for upgrades and for love. Bad Robot. Robot is a good robot. These are bad robots. The main difference between the two is that good robots move mostly horizontally, while bad robots move vertically. Much has been written on the philosophical implications of the Rocket Riser power-up. Bado. Unlike the bats of Earth, Bados have adapted to dark caverns with a unique strategy. They bump into walls at random until they get where they are going. It's not the greatest technique. So Bados can be a challenging enemy to encounter in the game because you do not know where they're going to head next. Battle Bat. While many scientists have experimented with Bados, only Dr. Kromborg has had any real success. Others tried to increase their intelligence or crossbreed them with less easily confused species while Dr. Kromborg simply slapped a suit of battle armor on a large specimen and called it a day. Bumping into walls is no problem for Battle Bat. Das Boxen. Ionic processor technology has advanced to the point where supercomputers no longer need to be locked down to a single location. Now they can wander in circles in a closed room all day long. Drill Baby. This is the machine used to drill out these caverns for exploration and mining purposes. Between rounds of drilling, it pounds the ground to shake debris loose from the ceiling and walls, making it easier to collect. Crob. Equipped with claws not for defense, but for holding croissants firmly during the buttering process. The crob is an extremely genteel creature. If it had a pinky, it would stick it out when drinking tea. Dungeon S. Crab. Dungeon is the latest in a long line of rulers for the Crab people. The Crab choose their leaders in a test of manners so subtle and complex that we simply couldn't understand it. But you just blew them up. Nice. Jelloid. I admit it. This is just a jellyfish with a fancy name. Pal 1000. This AI system once doomed an entire Felgax warship by shutting off their oxygen in response to a picture of a fire in a book one of the crew members was reading. The fire wouldn't go out, so it wouldn't turn the oxygen back on. Needless to say, it was scrapped. An enterprising miner found it, rubbed some smuts on its camera lens, and now it sees garbage everywhere and fires vaporizer shots continuously to try to clean it up. I find this entry particularly entertaining and humorous because it's like, oh, an AI system sees a picture of fire in a book and thinks it's a real fire and then turns off the oxygen oxygen, and all of the astronauts die. Uh, not good for the astronauts themselves. This would lead to the AI system being thrown in the garbage and someone found it and rubbed some dirt on the lens and now it sees garbage everywhere and is firing continuously, which is why in-game when you encounter it, it is firing uh, projectiles everywhere to try to clean up the mess that it sees on its camera lens. Uh, perhaps an overly sensitive <laughs> Uh, AI system to uh, the problems it is trying to resolve. The obtuse angler. In its native depths, the angler would lure its prey with its glowing appendage. When a fish got close, the angler would clamp it in its iron jaw and proceed to inundate it with idiotic questions. Of course, with a fish in its mouth, the questions were incomprehensible it would quickly become enraged at the lack of answers and eat the fish. In this way, 
the angler evolved a method of sustenance driven by intellectual curiosity rather than hunger, completely unique. Snurple. These creatures have shells made of corgozanium. When threatened, for example, by being repeatedly hit by bombs, they simply retract into their shell until the danger passes. So you cannot kill the snurples, you can merely inactivate them for a period of time. So you always have to be aware that they will come back after a brief interlude, after you scare them into their shell. Rhino Beetle. Much like the common snurple, these creatures have a corgozanium barrier protecting them from any frontal assault. They also use this appendage to squash prey against walls, creating a fine paste that they can lick up at their leisure. So you actually cannot attack the rhino beetle when facing it. You have to attack it from behind because of the uh, barrier that is their nose upon their face. Turret. This is just your standard BX82 plasma turret. Extremely common technology. I'm surprised you haven't heard of it before, frankly. And those are all of the enemies in the enemy dictionary for Robot Once Fishy. Thank you all for joining me for today's episode, and have a great day.